The eagle has landed. These were the first words mission control engineers heard from the moon as a new chapter in space exploration opened. We've just landed in the moon. And the crew shuts down the engine. And now while the world celebrates, my team has to keep working because we have to make sure it is safe to remain on the surface of the moon. The Mission Control Center in Houston managed space flights for another two decades. In 1992, the control team moved to a more modernized part of the space center and a historic room was closed. So I clean up the stuff that was left on the consoles, get rid of the water bottles, coke cans. Uh, there was stuff occasionally in the waste baskets that were around there, but basically this place was not representative of historic mission control. In 2013, a group of renovators won the contract to restore the room to the way it looked on July 20th, 1969. 35 interviews with the uh, flight controllers and they sat at each console and pointed out what buttons they interacted with the most and what they did at their console and it really helped the restoration process to be able to figure out you know, what was most important at that console. The renovators spent five years doing meticulous research. The biggest challenge was restoring the consoles and making sure the big screens, the largest and most visual elements in the room, looked exactly as they did half a century ago. Screen one and two and five for maybe over a year we couldn't find out what was supposed to be on those screens during descent and landing. And, and after enough research we finally got caught a break and found the right video that showed just a piece of what we needed to do to reconstruct it. No detail was too small. The renovators found stationery from the late 1960s, as well as ashtrays, cigarettes and soda cans. The restored Mission Control Center is open for tourists, who can see it through a large glass wall. Folesia Bokalets in Houston, Texas, NRI's VOA News.